time to turn things up. This pre-workout combination of Expedite and Aerobatine is the Fat Attack Stack from Snack. I usually take both about 15 to 20 minutes prior to my workout. It's the perfect time to get after it. Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Villegas here at the Wild Card, being joined with Freddie Roach, the esteemed trainer, Hall of Famer, and of course, training Manny Pacquiao for this Errol Spence fight coming up uh, in August 21st on pay-per-view. Freddie, is Manny like crazy for taking a fight like this against an Errol Spence who's like number one in the division and seeing that he's in his prime? I don't really think so. You know, with Manny's work ethic and the way he works out now and the way he trains, uh, you know, it's unbelievable. He just he, he puts every cent into training. I mean, he puts everything into it. And you know, he started sending me tapes of his workouts from home to 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 hear. And I start watching him and I tell him what what he think I think he should work on and so forth. And we've been been in communication, and but then we haven't seen each other for two years. But then uh, finally he shows up, and you know I thought they were gonna pick like Mike Garcia or some maybe a little bit smaller and so forth. But then when I found out Manny picked Spence, I said Manny, I said congratulations, you picked a real fighter. And I like that. I like when real fighters fight real fighters. I mean, there's too much bullshit out there right now with like people that are popular because of I don't know what reason, but they uh, all of a sudden they're boxers or something like this, you know. And uh, but uh, you know, Manny's fighting a real fighter, and we've always discussed this growing, coming up. He's afraid when I from day one, like if when I'm all done, will you tell me? I said, of course I'll tell you. I said, I said we'll both retire together, and uh, that, that just hasn't happened. His work ethic is great. His training is really, really good. He sparred uh, yesterday. He did ten rounds sparring, three sparring partners. He knocked two of them down, and. Uh, that was quite, that made me happy. I says, uh, yeah, it's like something I needed because I was a little bit worried. I says, you know, maybe at this 42-year-old, it, it, maybe it's not going to get any better and so forth. But yesterday, it finally did get better. And uh, we've, had, we, we've had more bad days than good right now. But the thing is, uh, the good days are starting to take over, though. And, uh, you know, the sparring partners are really good sparring partners. Uh, one kid from Chicago, he's 18 and 0 with 17 knockouts, and I forget his name, <laughs> of course. And then, of course, Roach is like the number one sparring partner, and he's a, a local fighter who fights at 147, and he's a very, very strong kid, and good. he probably gives me the best work out of the three. And, uh, you know, it's um, it's been working out really well, and Manny go ten hard rounds, and he will peak at twelve. And tomorrow, he uh, he's um, tomorrow's a, a twelve day, and that's twelve hard rounds of sparring. And um, so when he first got here, I said, you know, you look a little tired. I said, want you to get some rest. He I says, I think so. I says, I think you need it for tomorrow. Tomorrow's 12 rounds. I said, you know, just as little as do light workout and just, you know, be, 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 let them be happy with it. And he says, uh, he told me, he said, I'm just, I'm just going to shadow box. Um, and I said, okay, no problem. I said, I have no problem with that. I, I said, you want to play with the mitts a little bit and so forth? And he said, no. He says, not, not, not today. He says, I want to save it for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So he knows where he's at, and um, he's in a good place. And uh, you know, Errol Spence is a, a very good fighter, a good boxer. But I still don't think... You know, I'm li I'm really leery about that car accident. I mean, he's lucky to be alive. I'm happy he's alive, but it was a real bad car accident, and I still don't think that's over. So you still like have questions if he I, really is a hundred percent? Yes, I of course I do. I mean, you know, mentally, how could you be? But the thing is, you know, I mean, he yeah. seemed fine though in the Danny Garcia Danny fight, right? Garcia fight, yeah, okay, but he's fighting Danny Garcia. That's a big. It's a big jump for Manny Pacquiao, believe me. You know, so but uh, but um, you know, he looks okay in that fight, but it, it wasn't it wasn't a, it wasn't great, but it was okay. But the thing is, uh, I'm I'm happy he's alive and so forth, and happy that he made it through that accident. But again, I don't feel that accident's over, and I think that Manny Pacquiao's speed is usually what it does is it overwhelms a lot of people. 
and they, they just uh, the foot speed, the head speed, the power he has. So, and when we had two knockdowns yesterday, I was really happy. I said, yeah, it was, uh, I, I don't think many needed it as much as I did. Mm. <laughs> you know, so it was, uh, it, was, it was good to see, you know, because that, that's what the old man in Pacquiao used to do. No, obviously, if the, as a trainer, you want to see your fighter go ahead and do that in his sparrings. When, when looking at Errol Spence and, and the type of fight you expect, I, I think when you look at him, he's a lot bigger. He's shown he can mix it up, go to the body, but he, he could also make fights really easy just by jabbing and moving. Do you yeah. think he might go to the ladder, seeing that it's worked with Manny before, and just jab and move the whole night? Um, I don't think that will happen. I, I, but um, yeah, obviously it could, of course. You know, I'm not in his training camp. And so, but the thing is, uh, you know, I want Manny to start at a fast pace and, and move like he, like he can. Manny's a very good boxer, and he's great on his, on his toes and so forth. Spence is a little bit heavy-footed, and he kind of plots around a little bit and follows you. You know, the thing is, like, Manny's got to be in the pocket, get a two-, three-punch combination, and he's got to get out. If he stays in the pocket... He'll get hit back, and that that won't be good, because getting hit back by a big puncher like him is is going to be dangerous. So we have to fight the perfect fight to to win this one. We know that, but we're getting ready. We get we get we're getting there. You know, with with the knockdowns and sparring the other day, I was really happy because I didn't think he was going to be able to knock. The, he hadn't came close to knocking these guys down before. But the thing is, what the the factor was is that the day before. I gave him a day off, and he get he get some rest. And I says, now see what one day does for you. I says, you know, you don't need you don't need to run the mountains on sparring days. I mean, they get him run, running the hills for an hour and a half on sparring day. I said, what are you guys idiots? I said, you know, how how long you been in this business? I was really pissed at a couple of his assistants and. They assured me that won't happen again, and I told Manny, don't don't let that happen again. In your opinion, does he look better than he did in the Thurman camp? Oh yes, yeah. much better. Much better. Much much better. Yeah, the Thurman camp. Um, I was more worried in the Thurman camp than I was in this camp. Wait, why? Because a lot of people think Spence is a better well, fighter than than Thurman. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, we didn't know that back then, though. You know, everyone's just thinking about Thurman, mm -hmm. and his uh, his another guy like Spence, a big strong guy that can punch. I mean, the, these guys. Both both are dangerous. I mean, they both have knockout power, and you know, um, Manny can be knocked out. It's part of the game. He knows it's part of boxing. It's, you know, he handles it better than anyone I've ever seen. True, but the thing is, but he, you know, he knows that people do get knocked out in this game. And the thing is, when he's on his toes and moving and not not getting hit, it's going to be a lot more fun for him. <laughs> How long can Manny keep this up for, in your opinion, Freddie? Like, I know, obviously, it doesn't look like he's aging, but obviously, it's, you can't go against nature. He's 42. So how long do you see him being able to do this against top opponents like Spence? Well, you know, this is a real, real tough fight, but the thing is, uh, I, 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 Manny said, Freddie, how many more do you think we have in it? I said, well, with your work ethic, I says, you, you might have a, a, a couple more because you're doing really well. And he he really is doing really well with his work ethic. And uh, I've always said to him, I says, you know, Manny, I says, once you start slowing down, I'm going to tell you, and you're going to retire. And he says, no problem. He said, well, we'll retire together. I said, okay. And then, uh, you know, the thing about, um, you know, Spence is, uh, um, you know, he's, uh, again, he's a good fighter, good puncher and all, and all that. But... It'll, it takes more, it'll take more than that to beat Manny Pacquiao, I feel. Because Manny's a great boxer. He moves really, really well and is really light in his feet for 12 whole rounds. I mean, he's in and out. He's quick. He's, um, I just like him. I, I like him in this fight a lot. And uh, I, I, I tease Manny sometimes. I say, Manny, you know, run for president? And he never tells me yes or no, and I like that. So he's just like, he just smiles at me. And I says, hey, I says, if you win this fight and you become president, 
I says, wouldn't it be really cool if the fucking president defends his title? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, yeah, that, that would be a crazy thing. I, I don't know if it'd be so, feasible. So then he told me, he says... You'd have such a madhouse here with he, Secret Service and all that? He said, he said I, I, that I'd have to fill out a waiver, though, Dave, because you're not allowed to hit the president. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a lie in this country. Oh. I said, okay, we we, we get that done. <laughs> so, But, yeah, they could be one more, yes. But the thing is... Uh, I would say at the most two, and then uh, you know, hopefully he's president by then, and uh, you know, and not spending all his money on the poor people. I mean, because I, I do worry about Manny going broke sometimes because he does spend a lot of money on poor people, and he helps them out as much as he can. But sometimes we spend more than we have, you know. And uh, but um, you know, he's but he's happy with that. You know, because he's given to the poor. Because he remembers when he was one of those people. Yeah. He was one of those poor people, you know, that just had nothing. And he ran away from home because his father ate his dog. Mm. I mean, it's, that story is really crazy. But we'll, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Freddie, we, we're seeing fighters come back now and, and do exhibitions. Oscar Del Hoy is actually having a real fight. Um, you mentioned, you know, if you tell Manny it's time, you guys have an agreement, but do you think he really will go through with it? Like, I see him, he's so in love with boxing. That, do you think he'd have a hard time, like, if, you know, when that time comes? We've been together so long, and we're, like, we're so honest with each other, because we don't bullshit each other. And I, you know, I tell him how he looked or how how how, he, you know, how good he looked or how bad he looked in fights and so forth. We're very honest with each other, and I think we have a very good thing there with that, that policy. Once I see you slipping, I says, it's, it's, I'm, I'm going to tell you it's over, and we're going to pack it in. So he, uh, I think it's... I do think it will happen, yes. We have way too much respect for each other to not happen. A lot of people have mentioned, Freddie, that if Manny's able to get this win over Errol Spence, that he goes into top five greatest fighters of all time. A lot of people have debated it, that this win could maybe even uh, enhance his legacy more than Floyd Mayweather. I'm curious, you know, you're, uh, you know so much about the game. How, how do you see Manny if he's able to beat an Errol Spence? Do you think that he does enter that, that pantheon? Possibly. I mean, the thing is, I think, I, in my heart, I think he's already there before this fight. But the thing is, you know, but, but you know, look, look at Manny Pacquiao's record. He's won the best way. He's lost the best way. I mean, he knocked people out. He got knocked out. I mean, he knows his part of boxing. You know, one thing about Manny Pacquiao, like, if he got knocked out, I wouldn't have to go out find a stiff for him to fight to get him, like, his wheels back on correctly or whatever, you know. He, I, I'd go out and look for the best opponent I could because he understands that getting knocked out is part of the game. And he he accepts that, and he had, I mean, I, I I tested him one time. I you know he's getting ready. The ambulance want to take him. I said, Manny. I says, you know, I, I started asking some questions after a knockout, and said, you know, see how he is. And uh, and then, so I says, hey, the the ambulance either I can go with you to the hospital or your wife. Which one do you want? He says, I want my wife. I said, okay. I, said, I agree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even though in an ambulance so, ride with you, would probably be cool. So, but so, so then uh, he says, uh, I said, okay, you can get in the ambulance now. He says, no, I have to go to the bathroom first. I said, why? He says, I have blood in my face. This was after the Marquez knockout, right? Uh, I yeah. said, how do you know you have blood in your face? He says, I can feel it, Freddie. He says, I have to go wash it off. I says, he's okay. He knows right where he's at. He, like, uh, I, was, I was worried, like, maybe, like, people, when they get, sometimes get knocked out, lose it a little bit. So Yeah, so, like, he's, he accepts it, and uh, he knows it's part of the sport. And, you know, when he said, I said, okay, there's a sink right there, and the ambulance, go wash your face there. So he was, um, yeah, he... Completely core, I mean, it was a bad knockout, yes, but the thing is, it's part of the sport, it's part of boxing, and the thing is, it's something that we accept and something that we, know, we all know that it can happen to all, any of us. Mm -hmm. Go, going back to the question, though, Freddie, like, do you think it does enter him in the conversation with all the greats? Yes, I do. I, I, I think he's one of the top guys out there. Um, 
Yeah, I would say more like top ten or something like that. But the thing is, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I might be, be being generous because I'm his coach, and the higher he goes, the higher I go. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, Pacquiao. When people tell me, you know, he, he, Fred, this guy, he's the next Manny Pacquiao. I said, no, 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 don't stop there. I said, there's no next Manny Pacquiao. Nobody in the world will ever win eight world titles again. No, uh, in my heart, I know that I, I, he's, to me, he's right there. Yeah, I mean, winning eight world titles, he did something that nobody else in the world is going to do. Do you get the sense at all from the team or even your interactions with them that this could potentially be the last fight? Like, do you get any indications of that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, so, some of the guys are more fluent. And some mop, just mop, mop around and stuff like that. It's like, uh, like they might be there for their last payday or something like that. You know, but that, that when you travel with a big entourage, it, those, things, those things happen. Yeah, you know, but I look at the real Manny and like where he's at mentally, health-wise, and uh, he he's really really he's he's good, you know. And uh, the thing is, I mean, he gets tired some days, but don't we all? I mean, when I when I came to work this morning, I was so happy when he told me that Freddie, I'm just gonna shadow box today. I was so happy because I had my mitts ready and stuff like that, and my my body protector, but like. I was tired today. I, I mean, I didn't sleep good last night. And people and athletes, we all suffer from that some, at some time. You know, that's why I wear this ring now. Someone says, it's a wedding ring. I says, no, it's an aura ring. It, it helps me do the practices of sleeping and help my doctors put me on a program where I, it, it does help me sleep. And... Uh, he, and he said, the first thing you do is you turn the fucking TV off. I said, oh, yeah? I said, I can't leave the TV on. Because I, I used to say, the TV puts me to sleep or puts me to bed, you know? Yeah, that, that background noise, the white noise. He, yeah, yeah. He said, no. He said, but then he told me, he said, will you stop letting the dog fix your hair? <laughs> So I guess I, Marie asked me, who who did you hear? Uh, Marie, I live with the dog. I <laughs> said, come on, it's either me or the dog. So Last question here, uh, Freddie. Uh, come the night of the fight, how does Manny win, in your opinion? Um, you know, I want to say Manny wins by knockout, but I really, I'm going to be realistic. Uh, Manny wins by decision, because yeah, this guy's a big, well, a big welterweight, good chin, tough guy. And um, yeah, I, I I would love for a knockout to happen, of course. But the thing is, we haven't seen it at, at, at this weight yet. And uh, you know, but I'm just going with the game plan. What we have, the the footwork and the hand speed all together, we we're gonna easily win the decision. I feel in this fight. Well, that that'll bring a, a lot of joy to a lot of Filipino fans and a lot of fans that are. Fans of Manny Pacquiao here with Freddie Roach at the Wild Card and Marcos Villegas. Thank you guys for watching us. Thank you.